Hi everyone and welcome to another video by Edvolio. In this video, we'll learn how to autofill dates in Excel without the weekends, meaning dates from Monday to Friday and avoiding Saturday and Sunday. So let's see how we can do that. First, I'm just gonna autofill dates normally. So let's say 1st August 2023, done. Let's drag this down, done. Now it has all the dates from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, all the seven days. Now to avoid the weekends and only have weekdays, what I'm going to do is come here to the last cell, which is cell 16. You can see there is a small icon right here. I'm going to click this. This is the autofill options. Now from this series of options, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select fill weekdays. Now this will tell Excel that, Hey, in this entire autofill series, avoid weekdays only fill from Monday to Friday. So I'm going to select this and done. And now you can see first, second, third, fourth, fifth and sixth is missing because that's Saturday and Sunday. And similarly, you can see 12 and 13 are also missing because that's Saturday and Sunday. So this is one of the quickest way to do this in Excel. But wait, there is one small catch. This is us avoiding weekends considering the weekends are Saturday and Sunday. But what if you want to consider weekend only as Sunday. So you want to fill from Monday to Saturday and only avoid Sunday. Now let's see how we can do that. So first I'm going to do control Z and let's just drag this down back. So now it has Saturday and Sunday also. Now what I'm going to do is let me just copy and paste this date here. Now we're going to use the weekday formula and also the if formula later. But first, let me show you what the weekday formula does. So equals to weekday, open the bracket, select this, close this, hit enter. So what this formula does is it tells us the number of the day in the week. So 1st August 2023 is three. That means it's Wednesday. Monday is one, Tuesday is two, so and so forth. Saturday and Sunday are six and seven. So this tells me that 1st August is day three, that is Wednesday. So if I drag it here, Done. You can see these are Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, Sunday. Now what we want is we, we want data till Monday to Saturday. That means we want to avoid this. You want to avoid this and so on and so forth. So what we're going to do is let's delete this. We're going to come back to this formula. And what we will do is we will use if formula together with the weekday function. So we'll tell Excel that, Hey, if the date is a Sunday, please don't account for the date, skip the date and go to Monday. So Excel will check if the date is Sunday, it will not record that date and move to Monday. So that's how we're going to get Monday to Saturday, avoiding Sunday. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click. Let's write the formula from scratch. I'm going to do if, so if let's put weekday inside and let's select actually B1. So I'm not going to touch the A range, the A column range. I'm going to select B1, which has the first date that we are starting from. So if B1 equals to seven, why seven? Because seven is Sunday, right? So if the date is seven, that's Sunday, we need to skip ahead. So what we're going to do, so if weekday B1 is equal to seven, we're going to do B1 plus two. Otherwise we're going to do B1 plus one. Now let me explain the formula. So if the weekday, that means this date in B1 is Sunday, then we're going to take this date and add two more days. Meaning if it's Sunday, we're going to do plus two. If it's not a Sunday, we're going to do plus one. So now let's see how it works. So I'm going to put enter. Now it has given me a number. The reason it has given me a number is the formatting of this cell is general. So it's considering date as a number. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to hit the cell, click the format painter, paste it here, just change the format, right? So what Excel did is Excel looked at the first August date and saw that, hey, it's not a Sunday. So it added plus one. So one became second August. If it were a Sunday, it would have done one plus two, so third August. So let's actually see that in action. So I'm just gonna drag this here and done. Now what you would see is we have first, second, third, fourth, fifth. Now sixth is gone. Why? Because sixth was Sunday. And again, if you go here, you would see 13 is gone. Why? Because 13 was Sunday. So now you're seeing Monday till Saturday and you're skipping Sunday. So this is the formula that you would use. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned a lot. Make sure to hit the like button and also subscribe to our channel to show support. 
If you want to learn more in-depth Excel from beginner to advanced features like pivot tables, pivot charts, VLOOKUP, index match, power query, and much, much more, then do check out our advanced Excel course. The link is in the description below. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next video.